Well, let's hope it doesn't break down. Today we are testing out Turbo Ant's new X7 Max. This electric scooter is the new and improved version of its predecessor, the X7 Pro. One thing to keep in mind when you're assembling the scooter is that the right handle is reverse thread. The package came with a 3 amp charger and two keys to be able to remove the battery. We're going to let this battery charge for 6 hours before we take it out on its first ride. Well today apparently is a good day for me to test out if this is the perfect commuter scooter since my car just broke down, check engine light came on last night and it is misfiring really bad but I'm going to address my car this weekend. Luckily, I only work about 10 miles from home and this scooter should have enough range to get me there and back. And I currently have about 35 minutes to get there. So let's go book it. So if you heard that beep, that's how you activate the cruise control. You just hold the throttle down in the same position for six seconds and it activates. This is how you switch modes. You just double tap this. You see the S turns into white, that's mode one. Double click it again, turns orange, that's mode two. Double click it again and it turns red, that is sport mode. That is the 20 mile an hour cap one. If you wanna maximize the amount of range you get, I would recommend going to mode one. So I'm just gonna keep it on mode three. 20 seems to be a nice decent speed and power for this. So this thing is IPX4 rated which means it's not exactly waterproof, but it is water resistant. So getting splashed here and there is not a big deal. Oh, I guess we're off-roading today. I don't think this thing's actually meant to go off-road, but it's handling it just fine. So I have these pneumatic tires currently set to 33 PSI and it's pretty comfortable as it is. It absorbs light bumps just fine. And one thing to keep in mind though, if you are gonna take it on an off-road trail, like kind of like what we just did with all that gravel is, they can get punctured like regular tires. Another option that Turbo Ant offers are their honeycomb tires, which are supposed to last longer and have very little maintenance. They're puncture proof. Uh, I'm gonna ride really slow through this water. Well, let's hope it doesn't break down. Oh man, I'm gonna be soaking by the time I get to work. Even though you only see a back caliper, this thing actually has front and rear brakes. The rear is a disc brake with a mechanical caliper, and then the front is a electronic brake. All right, we're just a little over two miles from work, and we are about halfway through the battery. Like I said, if you want to conserve battery life, you would want to go into mode one, but I'm just trying to make it to work as fast as possible. So I'm staying on mode three and cruising steadily at 20 if I can. I did bring the charger with me in my backpack so I can just take the battery off and charge it by my desk during the workday. Just want to quickly go over all the features of this new Turbo Ant X7 Max. It comes with a 10 amp hour battery, which is removable and it's fully secured with a lock. You can remove it with a key that's provided. It comes with a 350 watt motor for the front, which I found to be powerful enough to get this scooter going to 20 miles an hour on flat ground. Though on steep inclines around 10 degrees or so, it typically averages around 13 miles an hour with me on it. I weigh 180 pounds. 
It's got a nice, large 19 inch long platform for you to stand on, which makes the ride very comfortable. It's got a 5.3 inch ground clearance. I had no trouble getting caught on anything going on and off the curb or minor off-roading. Got a fully functional brake lamp. It's got an LED headlight, little bell. Warn somebody on the sidewalk that you are coming up. Folding it up is very easy. You just unlock the stem over here, fold it down, hook the stem onto the rear fender. Now this scooter folds up in a really compact size and can fit very easily in the trunk of any standard sedan or SUV. It weighs in just over 34 pounds with the pneumatic tires on it. And it's very easy to carry around, especially for me living on a second floor apartment. It comes with a nice large display here, though I do notice the majority of the display is mostly on the bottom half. So I'm not really sure what this upper half is for. Holding down both buttons allows you to access additional settings. P0 is how you switch the speedometer between kilometers and miles per hour. P1 enables and disables cruise control. P2 enables or disables roll start in case you want to have throttle working from a dead stop. And P3 allows you to change the speed limit, though keep in mind that it's only in kilometers an hour, so 32 means it's capped at 20 miles an hour. The scooter claims to have a range of 32 miles, but that is on eco mode going six miles an hour. But during real world testing in sport mode, I've been able to average about 17 miles per charge this week. One thing I didn't like so much about the scooter is how hard it is to get a hold of the kickstand. Most of the times I find myself using my hand to do so, it's just a little bit hard to catch. But other than that, this is the perfect commuter scooter to just keep in your trunk for that first mile or last mile going to your destination. Especially in my situation where I had an emergency this week and my car broke down, the scooter has definitely helped me out. All right, guys, if you are interested in getting more information on Turbo Ant's new X7 Max, I'll have it linked in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my scooter and electric bike reviews, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.